She reaches for a nearby box of tissues, grabs a small fistful of them, and blows her nose before continuing. Everybody makes mistakes. Still not thrilled with my past deeds, but but I know you stand with me despite them. And and I think I'm ready to tell everyone else on the team. Get this out in the open. Maybe start feeling better about it. How do you do it? Do what? Storm into our lives and change them overnight. Grace and Gianna told me and again and again not to blame myself, that I'm valid and I'm loved. Impressive. Never sank in, but you say it, I'm already feeling le like, less like a useless sack. Probably just a tipping point, hearing it from a third source. I'm no psychotherapist. And you think I don't give myself enough credit? Eh, least I can do is clean myself up and get back to living my life. Go play some video games with you and thanks. Oh, team practice. Missed the whole thing, didn't I? Self-care comes first, above team practice or anything else. Yep, so what do you think the penalty should be? Drawing and quartering Iron, Maid Iron Maiden? I think practice is cancelled today, don't worry about it. Um, I think practice is cancelled today, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm thinking practice today is cancelled. You're not the only one who missed it. Really? Who else is absent? Everyone. Whoa, okay, that's bad. So I take it you're running around trying to hurt cats now? Hey, it's a living. It's getting really late, so I think I should check up at the arcade and see if anyone's shown up. Okay, give me ten minutes. I'll get to get slightly presentable, and I'll come with you. This is cool. I'm really glad I had that moment with Jinx. Of all of the characters, that's Jinx is one that I really wanted to learn more about her backstory, so that's awesome. This day has been a week for real. I can't believe less than 48 hours ago we got completely annihilated by Valkyrie and Hunter. And I've been so busy running around getting the team back together that I haven't really had a chance to get myself together, too. But still no time for that, because as I walk up, walk back into the arcade to see if anybody has shown up, I notice that everyone has shown up. It's up to me to rally the team after a long day of personal troubles. My own feelings will have to stay swallowed up a bit longer. Game face on, be the leader they need, make this happen. Hello, friends! Difficult day, yes? And yet, here we are! We persevere as I knew we would. I had some family matters to attend to, but that's been dealt with. I'm ready for team practice. I think we're a bit too late for a giant practice run, but being here now is good. Shows we're getting back in gear. I am way too drunk right now to be of any use in practice. Tomorrow, after the hangover passes. I've been dealing with some bad thoughts all day. Delaying makes sense tonight. Come back again tomorrow? Yeah, um, I'm not in great shape right now to pra for practice. Delaying it would be nice. I feel like passing out, honestly. Let's do something fun. Let's do something fun, y'all. It's been a difficult day for all of us, but it means a lot to me to see you all here, definitely. Motivational speech time. My energy's waning, but I have to take advantage of this moment. Have to rally them while they're all together. Okay, so Valkyrie and her team really hit us hard, and it hurt. But you know what? As much as that, lo that loss hurts, it won't shake what we made together. This loss should be motivational. We will persevere and come out on top. We're going to roar back from this stronger and better than ever. They can't pretend to be underdogs forever. People know they're dead. <laughs> um, um, let's see. As much as that loss hurts, it won't shake what we've made together. Even if it hurts to lose that badly in public and against team play to win, we're still together. We're still Magnificent Seven. And you know what? I'm proud of us. We've been living together and training together, but not just for glory, for each other, for the team, for our friendships. So even if we lost this time, we still have each other. We still have those bonds we've made together. That's something Valkyrie can't, can never take away. I know it's been a difficult time. Everybody's dealing with a lot, even outside of the charity show match results. But I have faith. I have faith in us. And I know we'll overcome all challenges in the end. We can still do this, right? Exactly. You know, I've never really cared about Glory, but I still care about the team, about all of you. Without all of you, I'd be in a far worse place. That's the truth of the matter. You helped me keep it together, and I'm not planning to abandon ship on that anytime soon. For Magnificent Seven, for all that we are and all we believe in, we shall endure. I'm glad you feel the same way. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We've got a long road ahead of us in these last few weeks to secure our slot in the Pro Tour and get ready to take on Valkyrie again. But there's no need to rush it. Let's get some rest and come at it fresh tomorrow. Together, nothing is going to stop Magnificent Seven. We have a rousing cheer for... Pardon? Excuse me. Pardon me on one side. Oddly enough, Ben and Matt entered the arcade, walking with purpose over to our gathering. 
and interject themselves into the crowd of Magnificent Seven. Ben? Matt? Something up? There's someone outside the laundromat asking to talk to you. What, at this hour? Have them come in and then... Oh, maybe it's Hunter. I'm guessing it's Hunter. Would be nice. We deliver only the message, not the messenger. He said he needs to talk to you outside, so that's what we came to tell you. It's either Hunter or Coda. Shabby looking fellow, glasses, wearing an old white and yellow jacket. It's Coda. Wait, what? Him? Honestly? Not up for whatever this is, not when I'm this tired, when I've pumped out this much energy to keep my friends going. But it's not like I can ignore it. I feel almost obliged to investigate. Maybe Loxley can come with me. Okay, everybody head on home. I'll go see what he wants and join you in a few minutes. The heck is this about? Hopefully Code is not suicidal. Or violent. There's only one person I know of that matches Ben's description. Former member of Team Play to Win. The one whose viral video rant humiliated them. Coda. He's standing on the sidewalk in front of the busy street, late evening traffic moving by from the green light to green light, which cast a weird glow on his slumped form. Last time I saw him, he was a ball of anger and rage, accusing me of ruining his life, but this? This is different. Loxley mentioned he's, been, he's being actively cyberbullied and falling into depression. Looks like that's the case. He looks broken, tired, and disheveled, his old team jacket still hanging off his frame. Hey. Hey, uh, can I help you, Koda? No, not really. In fact, I'm here to help you. He looks awkwardly down the street, thrubbing at his neck before continuing. She beat you too, huh? In the end, she always gets what she wants. She always wins. I went to protest, bring that same passion I brought to the table minutes before, but I just can't find the words. Yeah, she beat us too. Guess that makes us both losers. No way around it. We lost everything. I didn't lose everything. Far from everything. I think I understand you now. We're both scared of the same thing, aren't we? Being nothing. But that's okay. I know what we need to do. Koda, wait, what are you... And he steps backwards to the street, directly to the path of an oncoming bus. Oh my gosh. It went there. Oh my gosh, the game went there. I instinctively reach out, but come up just short, grasping at his jacket sleeve and missing. And then, it's all over. And nothing would ever be the same again. Mm. Wow. Oh my gosh. I needed a moment. I just needed a moment because that was just... <sighs> awful. That was just so awful. Mm. I don't even know what to say. I, I mean, what, I, what can I say after that? Poor Coda. That's terrible. Yeah, yeah, the game went there. The game totally went there. Level complete. Uh, well, you've cleared level six of Arcade Spirits, the new challengers. That's why it said continue, question mark, because I don't think there's a continue. I guess we should take a look at your scores. Please don't forget that you're a gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. It's important. Also, you've scored 3,290 points. Hooray. You didn't say anything about Loxley either. And if you or a loved one are feeling like life isn't worth living, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-8273-8255, which I'm sure is a legitimate number. Wow. Would you like to change your personal metadata this time? No, I'm good. Do you want to save your game before purchasing to level 7? Yeah. Yeah. That was awful. Oh, that was so awful. So awful. Level 7, fight to survive. I can't even. Like, the aftermath of that, I can't even. So awful. So tragic. 
news update fight shack with punchy 78 everything punchy 78 is different from fight shack here with a breaking news story alex zoo coda age 24 he was only 24 incident outside good clean fun many questions with few answers more to come be kind to each other former play to win member coda also known as alex Zhao, is currently in critical condition at memorial oh, hospital oh he's still alive but barely oh oh poor alex the situation is still ongoing but initial reports indicate this was an attempted suicide. That's so awful. Coda's fall from grace began with a viral video rant against everybody's favorite up-and-coming laundromat team, resulting in his team dropping him from the roster. Victoria Proud, recently unretired player and his former coach, simply stated that her team has had no business dealings with Coda since that day. With the esports scene in turmoil after the surprise victory at Pengi Paradise, and now this tragic incident, Keep an eye on Fight Shack for updates. That's, yeah. Everything is, that was so awfully shocking. Just like in, just like in the first one. It is the distant future, year 28XX, and, and I'm very tired. I just watched my old, an old rival walk into traffic right before my very eyes. I still remember that smile on his face as he did it, like it was a relief. Naturally, the police were on the scene moments later, so I had to stick around while they sorted out the situation. Perhaps because the cops got defunded and massively reorganized a few years ago, I'm not immediately presumed guilty and arrested. Instead, they calmly ask a few questions, talk to eyewitnesses, check the traffic cameras, confirm I didn't push code into the street, and that's the end of that. Which is good. But the process of gathering all the details is still slow, and it's past midnight, and I'm... I'm just so tired. I could leave any time I like. I'm not in custody. I'm just standing around as I sort through it all. But every time I turn to go, there's someone new asking new questions. A woman with a lanyard rather rather than a shiny badge approaches me next with concern in her eyes. CCI. Detective Ji Wu Cho, you're a hark, right? She looks like Rogue. How are you holding up? Do you want to see a mental health or care worker? We have a few from this community that you could talk to probably would help. I've already spoken to two different social workers, thanks. I have business cards aplenty. Look, I've given my full statement to the accidental death investigation team. I don't really have anything more to say. Oh, I'm with a different unit. I work cybercrime investigation. Cybercrime? Is this because of the way Coda was being cyberbullied? In part, yes. My team investigates online harassment and death threats. We can take these things seriously now that we have proper funding to look into them. My nephew suggested I talk to you if it helps. Jack Cho? You know him as Domino. Oh, Jack. Domino's real name is Jack. It's okay. My boo's name is Melvin. Melvin Weege, I think, and I love him for it. Domino's aunt works with the police? The world's full of surprises. I don't know yet if Coda's situation falls under my team's expertise, but given his involvement in esports, I think it's probable. Maybe you can help me figure this out, if you have time to talk. It's getting late, I'm tired, I can't think straight. Can this wait? ACAB, I don't talk to cops. If I'm not under arrest, I'm leaving. I really don't know anything more than I've already told the other investigators. I've already given my story twice to the other investigators. How we uploaded Coda's rant, what he said when I ran into him in AIM, at Max, those are the only times I ever talked to him. There's nothing more to add. Okay, if you think of anything else in the days ahead, just give me a call. Detective Cho passes me a fairly cheap looking business card. I suspect something's going on here beyond typical social media fights. And you never know what piece of evidence will unlock it all. Thanks for your time. Get some rest. Talk to a care worker when you can. Finally. Time to put this mess behind me and get some rest. Put it all on my head. Forget it ever happened. One good night's sleep will make all of this go away. I don't even like that. I didn't even like that guy, so who cares? What does it matter? You should care! It's still a life! Even if you were, like, sworn enemies, you should still care about him getting so depressed and, like, feeling like he... That was, like, his only, like, real option as a 24-year-old was to kill himself. You should care! I'm just so tired. I'm so tired. Gradually, I push my way through the halls, past my worried friends, reach my bed, and crash into darkness. And then the creepy thing is gonna happen. 
the Polybius creepy thing is coming. I just watched a man nearly die tonight. That could have been me. I could have lost all hope and given up. Over a game. Yes, that's right. He was just like me. He lost everything. But I found love. I found companionship. Isn't that enough? Couldn't that be enough? That's more than enough, Angel Arts. When was that ever been enough? Has that ever been enough? I can't deny my ambition. I can't deny my dream, my victory. I crave it, need it, now more than ever. Coda needed it too, but he came up short, just like me. We completely lost our momentum. We were on top of the world, and then failed in front of everyone, just like Coda. And this is, and that all I have to look, and is that all I have to look forward to? Burning out like he did? If the only alternative is giving up on my dream, maybe burning is inevitable. Maybe burning is inevitable. Oh, jeez. But if I'm going to burn, it won't be like he did. I'll burn myself on the altar of my own making. I'll strike the match and smile. Oh, this is getting dark. Yeah, that's right. I won't give up. I won't admit defeat. This is my dream. I will see through it no matter the cost. I'll prove that it will never stop. And if I can't win, at the very least, they'll know my dedication when they see the flames. The world will see. They'll know my name. I'll finally be worth. I'll be a winner. I've got work to do. I've got work to do. Oh, great. Now we're being railroaded. Okay, by this Polybius person. Creature. Thing. Loxley, come save me. I need you. I need a knight. I need a hero. Somebody save There are two great forces in this universe, justice and fair play. All my life I've struggled to uphold those ideals. Fair play, genuine equality and balance for all. Correcting mistakes of the past to ensure a perfect future. And justice, which enacts fair play on those who would seek to disrupt it. A difficult prospect when the system of the world rarely do more than offer these ideals lip, serv ideals lip service. But an ideal can be difficult to define, much less enact upon reality. What is fair play? What is justice? And when do you need to violate one to ensure the other? This is all in uh, Loxley's head. Melvin's head, I think. For example, loyalty. I hold loyalty to Angel Arts, whom I've grown to care for deeply. I hold loyalty to Magnificent Seven. But there are others whom I hold loyalty to, and they are not often on the same page. The name I have chosen for myself is Loxley, but it's more of a nom de joie, de guerre, a name intended for war. And that war existed long before Magnificent Seven. Don't like meeting out in the open like this. Too many cameras around and you know the pigs will be watching like a hawk since that coda took a dive two days ago. My first ally, my companion in war, Tsunami. Oh, that's Tsunami. Tsunami. Leader of the Ghost Monsters, a notorious hacker group. I wasn't around when the ghost monsters turned their backs on Deko Nami and went underground. I I figured that the ghost monsters had to do with the ghosts, you know, all of the, the Clyde. That's right, Clyde! Clyde! Yes, Clyde! Okay, why didn't I... Why didn't I make the... Make the um, connection before? Okay, okay. So that's... That makes a lot more sense now. Now I get you, I know. Okay. I joined the struggle, li uh, the struggle later to avoid the Iris Collective. Sue always seen me as the new guy, compared to her long-time allies. My leash is rather short, and asking her to join me in the alley behind good clean fun was not helping that. You have my thanks. Nevertheless, I appreciate you meeting me here. I'd like to stay close to home in case Angel Arts needs me. Yes, please, Loxley. I'm glad I'm controlling him right now and we can, like, rescue your boyfriend. I fear that the incident with the... With that one, as you so gently put, may have troubled my ally. Surely you can see why I'd wish to play the role of emotional support, yes? That's the other thing I don't like. You going deep into this Magnificent Seven thing. Loxley, we asked you to start visiting this laundromat so you could keep an eye on Grace and protect her, not so you could start an esports team. Any spotlight on you is a spotlight on the rest of the ghost monsters, and that means a potential spotlight on the Iris Collective. It's dangerous. An unsound notion, I'm afraid. Sue, when you gave me this assignment, you said I could handle it my way. I could make contact with Grace, even befriend her. Well, yeah, if you just lurk behind her all the time without identifying yourself, it'd be effing creepy. If I'm to be Grace's friend and ally, I must support her interests. She's interested in Magnificent Seven. I'd look suspicious and blow my cover if I didn't take part. 
Really? And that's the only reason you agreed to become a public figure? Not because of your interest in angel arts? Ask me no questions and I'll tell you no lies. I'm worried, okay? This is messy. This is beyond messy. We're doing this as a favor to the Iris Collective, making sure their mother is safe and sound. You're endangering her by getting tangled up in this. Let's not forget that the enemy was in contract was in contact with Angel Arts back at Max, or that Angel Arts had a Polybius encounter. Most unfortunate. Yes, I know, and I regret accidentally dragging Angel Arts into these shadows. Thank you for authorizing me to tell him about our little organization. I doubt I could have retained his trust if I hadn't. This is only going to get more complicated, isn't it? I'm tempted to pull you out of your assignment, have you work the server farm instead, cutting these people out entirely. But, I have a feeling if I asked you to abandon them, you might tell me to take a walk. You're, heck yeah, you, he would. I, I am loyal to my allies, to the ghost monsters. I wouldn't, allies? I thought we were friends. Or are you new, for, are your new friends more friendly than your old ones? Uncertainty abounds. I am uncertain how to answer that. Fortunately, Sue bites her lip, realizing she may have stepped a bit over the line with that question. Ah, oh, F, sorry. I get it, okay? You care about them, and you're in love with Angel Arts. I'd be a total jerk but to ask you to dump him. And if you'd rather abandon ship on the ghost monster so you can live honestly as one of them, I'd understand. What ho? Sue, I hadn't meant to imply that I'd be in I'd be a stuffy friend if I weren't willing to let you follow your heart. I'm not saying you have to decide now, but think about it, okay? If you're finding it too hard to be an operative and a member of Magnificent Seven, just tell me. Sue's done a lot of growing up. I'm proud of her. A lot of growing up. Don't forget, I was cool with Inky leaving the group so he could be a better brother to his little sis. No hard feelings. I've got three goals. Keep the Iris Collective going, stay out of prison, and make sure my friends are happy. That's a very cool set of goals. I have my own ideals I hold fast to. I understand when such things conflict. For now, I intend to stride with one foot in both worlds. Angel Arts knows my truth and chose to enter into a relationship with me regardless. I trust Angel Arts. I care for Angel Arts. And I will do my best to support him and you, Sue. Ah, shucks. She laughs off my insincerity, of course. Open expressions of emotion are not quite her thing. Sue prefers not to take anything in life seriously if she can avoid it. Even if the weight of the world even the weight of the world she's chosen to bear pushes down on those shoulders. Jeez, I kinda miss the days when we pranked arcades and hijacked websites, playing games and having fun. Who knew taking on the duty of protecting a new form of life would be this complicated? Maybe I'm just getting old. Sue, you're 20 years old. I'm more aged than you, and you can't even legally drink yet. Yeah, well, I feel 7012. 7012 or something. Okay, enough chit chat. I should get out of here while it's the getting's good. You go have fun with Angel Arts. I, uh. Ah, uh, yes, well, Angel uh, Arts is figuring some things well, out after the Coda incident. I'm giving him some space. You know, you need to come and rescue my. my. my hiney, Loxley. Beep beep, my lord, I have a missive from your. from your whittle. I have a missive from your whittle snuggums. Whittle snuggums? I uh, haven't established a proper cutesy nickname for my romantic liaison yet, and Marion tends to fight. tends to flights of fancy. But if. But, if Angel Arts is ready to reach out to me after his some soul searching, it's a good sign, yes? Yeah, I'ma leave you to that. Later. So, this missive. What does it say, Marion? The team will be gathering shortly in the Good Clean Fun Arcade for a big announcement. Announcement? I'd hope for a heart-to-heart -heart with Angel Arts to help him with his feelings in the wake of Coda's unfortunate accident. I'm afraid that's all the data I have, my lord. Shall I request clarification from your widow snuggums? No, no, it's fine. I'll attend the gathering shortly. And please, just call him Angel Arts if you please. I do not like this one bit. Very curious, what is Angel Arts up to? I'd like to know that as well, but I've lost control of him. Hopeful for the best, I return to Good Clean Fun to rejoin my friends. It's really cool I get to play as Loxley, I'm loving this. Just like when I got to play as Percy. When I arrive at the arcade, everyone else has arrived before me. Everyone except our coach, cat wrangler, manager, Angel Arts. Hey, any idea what this is about? Haven't talked with Angel Arts all weekend. Don't think any of us have. No clue what this meeting's about. I'm sure it's just announcing that we've been resuming team practices, right? We've been on unofficial hiatus since Pangy Paradise, but... That would make sense. We've only got a month until the Pro Tour finale. That's not a lot of time. I thought we were already in excellent shape on that front. The loss at Pangy Paradise didn't change our standing. 
but we may have bigger concerns than the shiny tin cup. Depends on how Angel Art's dealing with things. Guess we're about to find out. I'm sure my character is in autopilot right now is being manipulated by Polybius. No need to play further, Angel Arts emerges into the arcade, pocketing his phone on arriving. Everybody's here. Good, good. We've got a lot of work ahead of us between now and the Pro, Pro Tour finale event. I'm sending you each a shared document. This is our new blueprint for the next month. A schedule of training, online tournaments, qualifying matches, and more. My phone vibrates as the document arrives in my inbox. Taking a cursory look through the organized pile of colored boxes, names, and events, nearly the entire month is blocked out. A full month of activity, planned right down the minute. Iris ran the numbers, and this is the optimal path for ensuring our victory in the Pro Tour. It's going to take hard work and dedication, but I know we can do it. Anyone have any questions? And the silence is uncomfortable, until Zappa steps forward. Uh, wait, what? Uh, if I'm reading this right, you have me scheduled to take part in an online tournament at 4 in the morning? Yeah, this is, this is like... Somebody smack Angel Arts and like get him get him out of this whatever brainwashing he's in. It's a tournament hosted out of Australia, so that's six in the evening for them. Hmm, technically the tournament lasts from six to midnight, so you'll need to be ready to play from four to ten in the morning. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's gr nuts. No. Great, I'm gonna lose all my friends. You also have me on here trading from sun up to sundown tomorrow. I'm not seeing any time off for breaks or food or Pop a personal hygiene. Yeah, hold on a second. That's what they're doing. I'm, I'm basically about to lose all my friends, aren't I? Honestly, Loxley, you're our weakest player, right? <sighs> oh my gosh! Okay, Loxley, you gotta figure you gotta figure this out that something's not right. Something is sus. More sus than the, uh, almost as sus as the zero scores that we got. Honestly, Loxley, you're our weakest player right now. You need to shore up your skills if we're going to make it to the Pro Tour. I... I do want to do right by the team, I suppose. If this is what it takes, then consider myself prepared, but even so... You want me to take part in a tournament in Nevada, all the way on the other side of the country, at Max Vegas, in one week's time. Iris has already made the travel arrangements, there's a lot of qualification points on offer, and if you and I can win, it'll help our standing quite a bit. Angel Arts, travel is not something I can do easily. Can't just toss some shirts in a bag and go. Need to check disability accommodations. Research. Verify if there are clear routes to the venue. Iris already did that for you. It's all arranged. You can tune and tweak to your liking. Well, this sucks. Wonderful. Jet lag, here we come. You know what? I'm just gonna come out and say it. This is your overreact this is you overreacting to Coda's downfall, isn't it? No, this is Polybius, like, trying to mind F me. You're pushing us all to the wall because you don't want to end up like him. This isn't about Coda, this is about seeing Magnificent Seven through to the finish line. Look, two days ago, I gathered you all here to rally behind that cause. It was a rough day for us, sure, but we got through it. Uh, another fine inspirational speech on the way, it seems. Normally I'd be all for it, but something feels off. It feels a bit forced, like a desperate ploy to make this work, not a heartfelt sentiment. Loxley, you need to call on my BS, because I am not myself. I wonder what sort of speech this will be this time. Inspirational speech. Cheerful speech. How about a cheerful speech? Hey, hey, it's not going to be that bad. It's hard work, sure, but you got to have perspective. One month of hard work equals a seven of us standing on stage at the Pro Tour Finals, hefting a trophy eye in the air, together as a team. Knows that the grindstone's no fun, I know, but on a long enough man timeline, this moment will be nothing compared to the glory that awaits us. I promise you this, my friends, we're going to kick butt, we're going to have fun, and once we return triumphant, we'll throw one heck of a party. If we raise each other up, make sure we stay in high spirits, we can do this. Any one of us alone might buckle like a belt, but all of us together, we're unstoppable. For Magnificent Seven, for glory, for awesomeness. You had me at awesomeness. It's gonna stink fighting a tournament at F at 4 o'clock in the morning, but screw it, let's do this. This sounds kind of like a miserable death march. But you know, you're right about inevitability. After we clear the finish line, it'll be all behind us, yeah? Okay, sure. I haven't seen Grace yet. Has Grace been investigating? St I think Grace has been investigating, like, the CODA stuff this whole time. For one month of hard work, we'll be able to celebrate the victory for years. It's a fair trade-off. Like I said, it's not that much time. My body is ready. 